Hi everyone, welcome to practice problem AP01. This one is gonna test your knowledge of accounting for accounts payable. So here you go, one problem. Tiger Corps purchased $20,000 worth of inventory on account on July 12th, and there are some payment terms. Tiger Corps paid for half the inventory on July 22nd and the other half on July 31st. Record the journal entries for Tiger Corps' purchase and payment of the inventory. Um, I will tell you here it does not specify, but assume this is a perpetual inventory system where you always update the inventory balance um, when needed. So uh, with that said, take a moment, pause the video, see if you can do this on your own, and when you're ready, come on back and I'll walk through the solution. All right, welcome back. So here we go. Starting at the beginning, July 12th is our first journal entry. On this day, we purchased 20,000 worth of inventory, so debit inventory going up, 20,000. And we are not paying that day. We are purchasing on account with some payment terms, so we are going to establish an account payable, 20,000. That is a liability going up, so that is a credit. All right, next date that we have in this problem, July 22nd. It says on July 22nd, Tiger Corps paid for half of the inventory. So July 22nd. Now, absent other information, a payment would typically look like this. Debit your payable because it's going down. Credit cash because you're paying for it. So cash is going down. And if we're paying for half, this would be for $10,000. However, this problem is a little bit more complicated than that because this problem offered us some discount terms specifically a 3% discount if paid within 15 days. Now, we bought the goods on July 12th. It is now 10 days later, July 22nd. Therefore, we are within the 15-day window. We are going to get a cash discount on this half of our balance, right, on the portion that we're paying. So we are still going to take away half of our payable balance, okay? That is happening. However, we're not handing over $10,000 in cash. Specifically, we need to do a little math on this. If we're paying $10,000 and we get a 3% discount, 10,000 times 0.03, works out to $300. That is the discount we're gonna receive. Therefore, instead of paying $10,000 cash, we are only going to pay $9,700 dollars cash. Now, notice our journal entry is imbalanced. We still need to account for the other $300 in credits, and that is going to get credited to inventory. This is where my comment about assume a perpetual inventory system came into play. Um, in a perpetual inventory system, when you save money on your inventory, you reduce the value of the inventory to reflect that savings. If this has been a periodic system, we would have simply credited something called purchase discount here. Um, either way, the focus of the problem is making sure you do realize that when you pay off that first half of AP, you are taking a discount. All right, then our last journal entry, July 31st, it says we pay off the other half of the balance. So AP 10,000, notice we established a 20,000 liability on July 22nd, half of that liability went away, and now the other half of that liability is gonna go away. Only this time, remember we purchased on the 12th, it is now the 31st, so it's 13 days later. Um, in this problem, we are outside of that 15-day payment window, and therefore we do not get to take a discount, and therefore we are gonna have to hand over $10,000 in cash. And that's it. All right, hope you found this one helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.